When you think of tennis, the first player who comes to mind is usually Roger Federer. Federer has arguably been the most valuable brand tennis has ever had, and he has drawn in millions of fans to the sport, if not hundreds of millions. All of the success on the court, as well as love from the fans, has made Federer a very valuable asset when it comes to sponsorships, and this has definitely helped him rack up hundreds of millions of dollars throughout his career. Even at this stage, the Swiss maestro is not playing much in the last couple of years, but he still finds himself as number 7 in the Forbes highest paid athletes of 2021, raking in $90 million, which is basically all from sponsorships. If you rewind to when we first saw Federer back on the tour, not many would have thought that the Swiss would be close to becoming a billionaire. Welcome to Tennis Section, and in this video we discuss how Roger Federer made his vast wealth and how he's set to become tennis's first billionaire. Before continuing, over 88% of you are not subscribed. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to the channel as it helps us grow our community. Roger Federer has set himself up in a very strong manner throughout his career, establishing himself not only on the court as arguably the greatest of all time, but also off the court as a brand and individual who inspires, attracts and adds tremendous value to brands. Federer has made a vast amount of money on the court through prize money, establishing himself as number two of all time in total career prize money, standing at over $130 million. However, when you look at things into perspective, it is really not the crux of his wealth, as he has really shown us that he is able to expand his brand beyond tennis, with luxurious partnerships and investments in exciting ventures which have amassed his total net worth around $600 to $900 million. This has set him up nicely for retirement when that day comes. Notably, Federer's biggest earner in his career and in the future is set to be his deal with the Japanese clothing brand Uniqlo. This is a 10 year deal worth around $300 million, leading to the Swiss earning roughly $30 million per year. This was a shock to the tennis world when it was announced in July 2018, as Federer had become synonymous with the Nike brand, with whom he had partnered for 20 years prior. But with increasing injury issues in 2016 and 17, as well as many not expecting him to continue being in the top of the game at his age, Nike did not want to give Federer a lucrative enough contract to incentivize him to stay with the brand stating they would only pay him if he was actually playing. Federer has a very impressive list of sponsors, which is filled with luxury brand names, such as Rolex, Moet and Chandon, Mercedes-Benz, Lint, and many more. Partnerships with these brands allow the Swiss to rake in millions per year. These are all possible because Federer has been a genius in marketing himself in many different ways. As the amazing athlete who redefined how tennis is played, as the luxurious and classy act when it comes to his style, and as the family man when it comes to everyday life. Adding to these sponsorships, Federer has worked hard to create ventures of his own and has invested in some growing and exciting startups. Federer and his longtime agent decided not to just work on him, but also to work on managing other athletes, which resulted in the sports player agency, Team 8, being founded. This agency had many notable players with them, such as Grand Slam champion Juan Martín del Potro, Alexander Zverev, who is no longer with them, and the rising star, Coco Goff. One of the most exciting personal ventures is the creation of the Labour Cup, an annual tennis event held over three days in which the best players from Europe take on the best players from the rest of the world. This event has also seen Roger playing in it, but it also his greatest rivals, Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. The event is not an exhibition tournament where players don't actually care to win or lose just to make a show for the crowd, but they rather come here competing for prize money and they really want to give it their best. The event is also sponsored by some of Federer's luxurious brand sponsors, and this is definitely a great way for the Swiss to have an impact on the tennis world after his retirement. With Federer's breakup with Nike, Federer was also looking for a footwear brand. Having seen many people in Switzerland wear a brand called On Running, Federer had dinner with the founders and almost instantly became an investor in the brand. All of these investments and partnerships have one thing in common. They are all made with the idea of being viable post-retirement. Federer has truly established himself at the forefront of how to brand yourself as a tennis player and he is set to become a billionaire soon enough for all of these ventures. Thank you for watching Tennis Section. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and comment what you want us to make next. Check out our Instagram where we post daily tennis memes and check out our TikTok where we also post videos.